Who to review? Who to review? I've been thinking about this all day. I've just got no idea who I want to review. I know I don't want to review you. You've had your chance. Absolutely not. But you know what? That gives me a good idea of someone else to review. Let's take a look at Armada Sideways, who to me was one of the more successful motorcycle formers. Uh, previously in G1, all I can really think of is you had Rekgar, um, who was pretty successful, but, you know, he's pretty big and clunky and bricky, and this guy did it a little bit better. And then you had uh, Streetwise? No, he was the car. It must have been Groove. And while he had a really cool looking motorcycle mode, the bot mode really suffered because it was a combiner. So this guy kind of got it right. Not only did he get it right because he's a decent motorcycle and how he's built he can stand, but he came with these two minicons. We had Rook and Crosswise. And they were interesting because Sideways had a little bit of a gimmick going on. And these two minicons, they're not terribly interesting. They got a little bit of articulation, arm spin. You got some leg movement, some awkward leg movement too, you know. He's a pretty leggy guy. It goes all the way up to his uh, shoulder, but that's okay. But what really made these guys kind of special and made him work a little bit was that you could flip some things around here and you could take this uh, rook's head and push it in and another head would pop out and then you could take crosswise and plug him in like this kind of adjust the hands so they looked nicer and then you would fold these down and you make some kind of arms out of them and then they may not be the most convincing arms but that's okay and you could rotate the feet around but what made him successful is now you also had a rider that was designed to go on him. And that's something that none of the other motorcycles did. Sure, you could take maybe a G.I. Joe or something and throw it on there. But this guy came with his own rider. And I forgot to flip that up for extra security. My fault. But yeah, so this guy actually comes with his own rider. Which was a really neat feature. Um, other than that, there's not much to say about the motorcycle mode. Really not much to say about the minicons either. So let's take them apart. And let's put them aside. Kind of remind me a little bit of uh, Leadfoot from the new movie. Big old bellies there. Anyway, put him back. Let's pop his head down like that. And we'll just throw him off to the side until we need him. Which will be coming soon. Alright, so let's get on to the transformation. And he's an Armada toy, so he's not overly complex. Um, what we'll start by doing is we'll take his arms down here. Now actually I think when he's transformed these are supposed to be flipped in but I find they actually fit better if you just leave his fists out. And since they're gray and so is this part of the bike really doesn't kind of detract from the bike so I just kind of leave them out. But take his arms, fold them out like this. Now what you're also going to want to do here is kind of pull a little downwards. Not There's no joint, you just kind of pull it down just to clear things and turn that so it's looking kind of like this and then just take oops sorry you want to have it so the bumper part is on this right side here when you're looking at it backwards so then you're going to take it and just kind of flip it up like that now the next part we're going to do is go to his legs and just kind of split them apart pull them out to get a little extra extension on them and then it's just a matter of configuring his foot. And that's just going to rotate on down here. And you can see there's kind of a lock in here to lock him in. Just kind of click it in until it locks. And that's going to lock the foot in position. Let me lift this up here a little bit. And now you pretty much got most of them done. So flatten his, his arms so they're completely flat across the top here. And you're going to take the front of the bike, rotate it, and then swing it on down here. And you pretty much have them done. And then you can see you got the holes here on each side. There's a peg here. Just take it, curve it, 
at the top here how you need to do. Uh, you're just going to have to kind of fiddle with it till you find the right angle, but it should plug in so it'll look like that. And do it again for the other side. And plug everything in. And then, I do not believe that there is an extension on the arm. And here you've got him, except his head. Now, if you watched Armada, then you knew this guy was kind of a spy playing for both sides, but actually he was playing for the third side. So this is his actual head, and that is native to the, you know, the robot's body. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I mean, just a little bit of yellow and blue paint, and the handlebars make these horns. And he seems to like these horns. Now, before we go further, I will point out that he does have a Minicon gimmick, and all you're doing is plugging in one of the Minicons here, and when you push it up, it fires his missiles. It's really not all that interesting. Um, it's not a spring-loaded missile, if I can find it here. You can see that all it is is one of the ones that is held in by a ball, and by pushing the Minicon gimmick, you actually have gone ahead and... Uh, force the missile out of the the hole you can see there so that's all you're doing really um, there is no elbow all you have is the upper arm very G1 like that um, no knee just the upper leg again this is kind of the downfall of Armada and why I don't really own too many Armada toys they don't do too much but this guy does enough that you know, to me, he's still worthwhile. Let's try to get this other missile out here, because I don't really like how he looks with it. So, there we go. Missiles are out. So, of course he has his two Minicons here, and if you saw the TV show, you know that he liked to switch sides. So, what we're going to do is push down his uh, normal head, and we're going to take one of the, the heads here. And now... What you're going to do, flip your Minicon, so his hands are like up like that, and then flip them over. And then just kind of arrange these however you like them. They're a little bit big for what they're trying to pull off with it, but um, if you saw the TV show, sideways head horns. And then in the center of the head, there's a little panel. You put a little bit of a friction on it with your finger or whatever, and you can pop it up, and you'll see his eyes in there. And then what you're going to do, there is two holes here and the hole here. This one's going to accommodate the head. Um, I'm sorry, not these holes, this, these back holes. That's going to accommodate the head, and these two are going to accommodate the hands. And as you put them into the, the slots here, the, the arms are actually pushing down a set of panels inside, which I think is pretty neat, because as you plug it in, you know, now he's an Autobot, and you got sideways with his uh, Autobot head on, which is pretty interesting, especially if you like uh, Headmasters, like I do. So, it's pretty interesting to see the Minicons being used as a Headmaster, and uh, vaguely reminiscent with the piece that hides the eyes of the G1 Headmasters, which is kind of cool. So there you go, you got sideways as an Autobot. And we can take it out. And we can, of course, do the exact same thing. Lift his arms. Set it down. Lift this top piece. And you can see he's got purple eyes. So he must be a Decepticon. And kind of adjust it however you like it. It's very hard to find a pose with these feet that you actually are going to like, to be completely honest. But, what can you do? Slide it on in. Everything will snap into place. And he is a Decepticon now, as you can see. Which is pretty cool. It's a very simple gimmick, because all it is is that the size of the rider's hands here, whether you have the bigger hands or the smaller hands, 
all they do is adjust which panel they're pushing down on the inside. Um, you got the outer one, which goes down, and that shows the cons. And then you got the inner one, which shows the Autobots. So it's a pretty smart way of doing that. And uh, ultimately a pretty cool use of the Minicons. So, but this was the head that he was really, you know, his real affiliation um, in the series. But, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a cool little Armada toy. There's not many Armada toys that I would say are cool. Um, in fact, if you asked me to, I would say stay away from pretty much all of them because I haven't found one that I really like, except for him. But mostly like him because of my love for the uh, Headmasters. And that's definitely a uh, strong reason for me to want to pick him up. So, yeah, just put him back into his little, uh, whoops, the wrong way. Let's just put him back into his little combined mode. I mean, how cool is that? You've got a Transformer, you've got two Minicons, you've got, in theory, a Combiner, and a Headmaster. That's like all the cool things that Transformers do all in one. So, if you don't have a sideways, I don't believe he's too terribly expensive to find. He's definitely one of the better ones from Armada. Definitely one of the ones I would say pick up if you don't have him. Especially if you like Headmasters. So, this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um... I'm hoping I'll get a review out next week, but I can't promise that. I've got a deadline to meet on the custom for TFCon, so um, Friday next week's pretty much my last day that I actually have to work on it, because um, I'm busy up until I leave. So, yeah, there may or may not be a review next week, and hopefully it won't take me up until about five minutes before we filming this review to decide which one I want to review. So, see you later, guys.